Hello, Virgos. I am here with a general reading for the sign of Virgos. So anyone with Virgo strongly in their chart could resonate with this story. But of course, it will not be for everyone. So please be discerning as you listen to the message to make sure um, to not bring any confusion or um, discoloration to the lens in which you view your world. Um, dear precious friends, please welcome um, into my space, into the space here. Um, it is a pleasure to have you here and I welcome you just as you are in this moment. All right, let's go ahead and look at what is currently in the current energy. What is in the current energy of Virgo, of this group of Virgos? What is in their current energy, please? What is happening to them currently? What is happening to them currently? Ooh, what is happening to them currently? Something big is happening here, Virgo. To this group of Virgos, there is something quite big happening at this point in time. Um, usually the energies don't burst out like that. So let's go ahead and just put these energies here. Let's look at what Virgo is stepping into. What will Virgo be stepping into in the next upcoming period of time? The next seven to 10 days or the next two weeks, the next three weeks, however quickly you're moving, however quickly time is moving for you. Um, Let's look at what is coming in for Virgo. What is Virgo connecting to in the next incoming energy? What is Virgo connecting to in the next incoming energy? For the sign of Virgo. For the sign of Virgo. What is Virgo? Something a little bit slower here. It's going to slow down. Um, what will Virgo be connecting in with in the incoming period of time? In the incoming energies? What will Virgo be connecting in with? What will Virgo be connecting in with? What will Virgo be connecting in with, please? Oh, man. There's one more energy. What will Virgo be connecting in with, please? All right. And what is the guidance, please, for Virgo? What is the guidance, please? What is the guidance, please? fortune is really has a lot of energy um there is new momentum here there's guidance for virgo there's very talkative energy this morning for virgo very talkative energy here all right let's look at this current energy this burst of energy that just came bursting out of the deck um let's see what's here for virgo we have the star energy that's that that is an aquarian energy we have the Knight of Pentacles, very v, uh, Virgo type energy, um, but it's with the star energy. So there's something happening here that's quietly, divinely, um, quite divinely guided here, Virgo. Uh, we have the Three of Wands energy. We have the Two of Wands and we have the King of Pentacles. So um, there is some new growth happening, Virgo, in your experience right now um there's been some healing there could be an aquarius here there could be a taurus virgo capricorn um there could be another taurus virgo capricorn so there's very you're very much showing up um in this current period of time in your natural energy there has been some um truth that has been released or some healing that has occurred there is a new empowerment and even in the tone of voice um, that comes across here. There's, there is a great strength that's rising up in you, Virgo. It's like a welling up of strength. Um, this is fueled by the truth. This is fueled by, uh, fueled by who you are as a soul. It is fueled by your divine connection to your spiritual team and to your religious si system or to your spiritual belief system. Um, it is, it is powered and fueled, um, by the truth and the T is capital. Um, that is coming forward. So there's truth here um, that you're stepping into. Um, whatever that means for you or however that resonates for you, there is a new truth here. There is also healing and a rising up as your true self um, is what I is what I see, Virgo. Um, you are making 
very stable and significant process progress forward, although it is a little slow, um, but it's powerful, Virgo. It is your style, and I think you're most comfortable in this kind of an energy. Um, I don't think you're really wanting to extend any kind of extra effort into situations that do not bring um, secure and stable results. Um, you are not wanting to um, partake in any kind of event or um, situation that is, there's a seriousness. There's a seriousness about the way you're moving forward, Virgo. It's it's a serious, stable, methodical movement forward towards a brighter future because you have the three of wands here with the two of wands. Um, so you are feeling quite optimistic about the resources that you have at hand. Um, you are um, okay with the with the movement and the style of movement that's that you are in. Um, you are looking um, forward to improvements in your future, and you're currently here deciding. Um, you're currently in the middle of a decision or a change um, in the way you move or in your belief system, but but it's it's you're taking action on it now. It's an action. You could be changing course. You could be picking up the torch and say, I'm going this way. This is the route I'm going to take. This is the path that's been laid before me. Um, you are feeling quite um, optimistic about the future. You have resources at hand that can help you. Um, you are seeing um, further abundance coming towards you in the path ahead. And ultimately, there is a strengthening here and new action being taken um, as you overlook your total household, your um, your family wealth, your family stability, um, your assets and your liabilities, and um, your property, your legacy, um, your money, your your revenue in, your reven your your expenses out. Um, this is looking at the material items, the material world, and um, finding security and safety within it. Um, this is taking action. So you are in action. Here you are. Whether you are a male or a female, it does not matter. We're talking about energies here. We're talking about a spiritual being, an energy being, and you're moving forward in a very action-oriented way now, very slow, very powerful. You're not messing around. You're not um, taking any actions that are not um, for the best um, interest of your family and you, um, and you're, you're very optimistic about the future, and you're changing the course of action here. You're, there's some sort of a change that's resulting from this star energy, this healing, this truth, this divine connection, who you are, the centricity of yourself, Virgo. Um, you are um, connecting in with that energy and um, moving forward probably in somewhat of a different way here because you have a fork in the road and you're taking action now in a different way or you're finally committing to a pathway you're committing to a course of action um, and you're you're seeing uh, a hopeful future, optimistic, encouraging um, path ahead. So this is a very optimistic, um, anticipatory, encouraging energy that you're in. You're willing, you're willing to um, move through this slower progress, the slower process so that you um, can have long-term healthy changes in your life. This is the energy that you're in currently as the King of Pentacles, taking action here to improve the overall health of your material world, um, your home, your family legacy, your retirement accounts, your income, your business. You're working very hard um, to bring stability to your home, to your household, and to those who live within it. This is being fueled by new healing, new empowerment, new divine connection with, with source energy, with the energy that gives you strength with your spiritual team. All right. So you're feeling quite hopeful uh, about the future here. So this is where you are. Now, um, there is a powerful energy here. I saw the tower coming in in the future. So let's um, take a big breath here and let that breath flow out of us Relax into this energy now, calm the mind, calm the body, and um, let's prepare to see um, what is coming towards us now as we step into the future.
King of Swords here, another Aquarius type energy. Hermit, there you are again. Virgo energy here with a Hermit. The Tower. Five of Wands in reverse. Now the energies are all upright in the deck. So when they come out in reverse, that is, um, that is something um, to be taken in with seriousness here with that. It's meant to be in reverse. Okay, I must be in your energy, Virgo, because I'm seeing the detail of the way my camera is, the tripod is, and it's off scale just a little bit. So I'm going to try to change it. I know that by changing it, I could mess up my whole system here. Um, and I don't want to move it too much, but hopefully that'll help the scale. I don't know why I am. I'm definitely in your energy. And that's okay. So let's continue on. Um, well, you are seeing the big, oh, do you, do you see Virgo, how energy, the energy that we're in can really, um, change the way we think and really can impact our actions because I am in the energy of the King of Swords. I was seeing the big picture. Um, and I was seeing that the, the energies on this side, um, the scale of the camera is camera is slightly tilted and it's making these cards appear just a little bit smaller. And I was seeing the big picture. This, this is seeing the big picture of the situation. All right. Um, this is being discerning, uh, making an overall judgment, um, or an overall discerning decision about, um, so you're walking into this, you're stepping into this in the future. You're going to be able to see the big picture here. Um, there, there has been some kind of a tower. Now I feel like for many of you, this tower was in your past. I feel like because we have the two of swords coming out on top of this energy, um, I feel like it it's something, a big change that has come over you in the past, something that has happened to you in the past. I don't feel like it's in the future because the conflict energy um, is in reverse and you have a new actions here that are coming in. If this is a tower, um, it could be um, after we get some kind of chaotic change in our lives, sometimes there are further further um, corrections that happen. If this is a tower, it is a correction of an earlier tower. Um, let me clarify this tower just a little bit. I don't think it's anything to be scared of because here we have the four of pentacles coming in. Um, I think this tower has already queen of swords in reverse. I think this tower has already happened to very many of you um, because you're coming out of a period of conflict here. Um, you're no longer having to be defensive and having to be a warrior within your life. You have new stability here with the Four of Pentacles, and you have new clarity, and this is bringing you a great wisdom here um, with the Hermit energy. So as you move into this next period of time, I do feel like you're going to be recovering from some great um, surprise, some great shock, some great chaotic energy that has been in your life. Um, you're seeing the big picture of this now. Um, you're able to make very careful decisions. Um, this is a very, uh, um, a, a judgment energy or a very judging, um, and I don't mean that in a negative way, but you're able to see now and make decisions. You're able to look at your situation and and see a clear route forward. The fog is lifting now with this King, King of Swords energy. Um, this could be a Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius energy here. We do have you as a Hermit energy here. In the upright, both of these energies are in the upright, which tell me you're coming out of a period of time um, where you um, had to dig quite deeply. Um, the hermit changes. So the hermit is able to experience something, experience a calamity or experience a shock, experience a devastation or experience a, um, a supreme surprise um, here um, that that took you and put you in this cave, um, in this in this quiet, deep, reflective play, place where you could have um, 
um, moved away from the community, moved away from society, moved away from your family, and dug deep within yourself to see what the truth of the matter was. Why did this happen? How did this happen? What was your role in it? Um, how do you want to move forward in this now? What can be changed? What about your own um, actions can be changed? How do you respond um, to the community or to the experience? How are you going to respond now to this um, devastating experience that you've had? Um, I do see that you're finding um, clarity here. There is new clarity that comes in and you're going to be able to make some really important decisions now um, about how to take action because there is a new opportunity coming in here, new action coming in here, a course, a course of action, a solution, a new path to take, an answer to a situation. And it's, and it's going to help you to take action because the Ace of Wands is action, new passion, new action, new pathway, new career, new occupation, new relationship, um, new course of treatment, new action now. Um, where you felt the conflict and where you felt the blocks before, um, those are kind of, um, uh, as you gain clarity here, as you gain clarity with the Two of Swords, these blocks here are just kind of melting away. So it, it comes from your ability to see the full picture. It comes from your ability to make very clear choices and very powerful decisions for your future. Um, the King of Swords is the energy of a judge, the energy of a jury, the energy of a guardian, um, um, the energy of an attorney or a, um, a, a militia man, um, somebody who can see the big picture and can take steps and take action to step into the most um, appropriate methods, the most appropriate ways of moving forward. This is because you have dug deep within yourself. You have seen the truth here of whatever this calamity was, and you're able to move forward now um, in, in a beautiful new way, in a very charismatic, powerful, fiery way as these blocks drop out um, as you see the truth. Um, for many of us, when we go through chaos, it is the truth that brings a freedom. It is the truth that can bring the fire here to allow you to move forward. Um, and, and ultimately, many times the tower or devastation or major change that comes in, it is the um, <clears throat> it is the initiation of some change that's going to come in here that is going to, in one way or another, um, change your life in a way that you may not understand at this point in time. But I feel like the conflict is moving away in the next week or two or the next few days or the next few weeks. The conflict, the, the blocking, um, the, the competition, the complexity is kind of falling away here as you gain truth here with the King of Swords and the Two of Swords over the top of the Hermit, which is you, and the Tower, which was this devastation or this major change that came in here for you. Um, <clears throat> I am interested here in um, clarifying what this Ace of Wands is. Please give us more information about this Ace of Wands. And also, Virgo, I will be doing a second extended reading that will go deeper, way deeper into some of these energies. Um, we will dig deep into these, some of these energies that I will um, decide at the end of the reading, and I'll, I'll definitely dig deeper into the Ace of Wands. But let me see if I can just get a little bit more information here. I usually take a break in between the general reading and the extended reading to just kind of gather myself in and gain a bit more energy. Ace of Wands, celebration, joy, reunion, reparation, something here that's it's a great celebration. So there is a major celebration that, that comes in here. Um, it is It does come in at a period of time when you're battle weary um, you're battle weary, you're scarred, but you're, 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 you're not backing down. Um, you have no choice but to go forward and you're standing very powerfully in front of who you are and what you represent and who you are as a soul. Um, what your DNA is, what your spiritual, um, DNA is, and you're standing in front of all the actions that you've taken, everything that you've done. You are taking accountability for who you are and you're not backing down. It's very passionate. It's very fiery. Um, it, it, it's like you're, you're moving forward in this new beautiful energy 
um, taking action, but, but you still hurt just a little bit. Um, you're still a little bit defensive here. I realize you can't see these energies. Still a little bit defensive here. Sorry. And I realize the camera is moving up and down. Definitely noticing the details with you, Virgo. Noticing the details here. Details. Um, King of Wands, revitalization, a very fire. See the fire here that kind of comes in? Um, this, this energy, this Three of Cups, um, there is new celebration, new victory, new happiness here that, that is a connected to this, <clears throat> to this truth, <clears throat> energy change. So I'm going back between sword energy, clarity energy, both Virgo and Aquarius energy and Libra energy here, um, is very, can be very rational. So I'm going for forward back and forth between a very rational clarity and passionate movement forward. Okay. So the, it's like the, there's two different energies here. There's clarity. There's rationality. There's, a, there's, um, intel, intellectual, um, understanding. And then there's fire and there's action. And these, both of these energies are beginning to merge here, um, in the next several weeks. The King of Wands is a very fiery, masculine energy. Could be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. It is an energy of a creator. It's an energy of a master builder, um, energy of a revolutionary thinker, um, an, um, a charismatic uh, performer, um, somebody who influences others, somebody who can invent, somebody that can go into a space that was devastated, that has been ruined, that has been wiped out and can rebuild in that space. Um, very powerful energy. This person works in bursts and bursts of energy. So um, bursting energy and then quiet healing and then bursting energy again. So this is someone who um, is, is um, pref this is an energy that prefers to work and to be successful in bursts of, of passion energy. Um, again, in the next couple of weeks, you're merging your truth, the rationality of your thinking with new, passionate, fiery movement ahead. Full of chemistry, full of excitement, full of exuberance for the future. Um, it was started because of this great change here um, that created this need to go deep within and understand um, the confusion, understand why there was this cracking of the foundation here. But it looks like there is new clarity and now there's passion and action forward. Um, we'll dig deeper in to see what else we can get from this Ace of Wands in the extended reading. All right, let's go um, into the guidance here. There was quite a bit of guidance that came out as well. So again, there's a lot of information that's coming out here. So you could be in a, in a moment here of, of coming into some um, powerful understandings in the next couple of weeks. All right, guidance is three of or eight of swords in the upright, the fool energy in the upright, five of pentacles in the upright, and the magician. So the guidance that's coming forward here is a reminder that sometimes the way we think, the way we've been taught, um, the patterns of behavior that we've been in have kept us in a place of stagnation, of misunderstandings about ourselves, of misunderstandings about the universe, of our own empowerment, of our own power within us, the own strength within us, the own, our own energy and our own um, connection with the universe that beats um, within us. There is some sort of a diminished energy here that has been revolving around you, um, circulating around you, whether you're circulating in it or it's circulating around you, it was a very imprisoned sort of energy, um, a way of thinking, a way of understanding, um, a way of somebody here, um, and it's about thought forms, it's about the understanding, it's about clarity of mind. Um, there could have been an illusion here that you were less than you are, that you were, that you are weaker or less worthy than you are. Um, this is about the empowerment of the self. So if you have been taught or if you have been led to believe 
um, that you are unworthy um, of freedom, that you are unworthy of love, that you are unworthy of passion. That is an illusion that has been taught to you, that has been um, brainwashed into you. Um, this is about the mind and what the mind can do. The mind can lead us um, to freedom or the mind can lead us to imprisonment. And there is a guidance here. There is a um, guidance that's coming out to, to say, um, work to free the mind, work to open up your um, your thoughts to new perspectives, to new ways of thinking, um, to, to allow yourself to listen in a different way. This is about the preciousness of your self, this is about the value of your mind and heart and soul. This is about um, the importance of you um, in this day today um, to live um, a life that is captivating, that is full of passion, that is full of joy and celebration, and that sometimes it is the, the, the teachings um, of the humans that have come before us or the restrictions within our communities or... Um, the words that others have spoken to us that have made us to doubt our own realities, to question the value of self, to question the clarity of mind that we um, perhaps once held within us. Um, because the Eight of Swords is a powerful energy. Um, it is this Eight of Swords is the energy is stronger in the Eight of Swords than any of these other energies that are here before me. So there is guidance here to allow a new perspective in to just take a moment, take five minutes every day to consider that possibly you are more precious, you are more beautiful, you are more um, powerful, um, you are more connected to the divine than you would ever imagine. Allow those thoughts um, to begin to seep into your mind because there is a great truth here that is struggling, struggling to make its way into the circle between um, the swords and between your Oh, what is this? It's like there is information here. There is, while you might have the thoughts, do you believe? While you might have the words that you read or the affirmations that you say, do you believe it? Because there is um, some sort of very strong guidance here to allow yourself to step forward in a new way, um, taking a risk on something, whether that's in real life or whether that's in um, a new way of thinking, a new way of thinking here that brings a freedom, a lightness, a new joy, um, the ability to take um, a new, give it another try, to give life another try, to give a new perspective, a way in um, to help you release yourself from this imprisonment here, whether it is within a family, whether it is within a relationship, um, whether it is within your own belief system in your sense of self, um, there is loving and compassionate guidance coming forward now um, to allow in um, a new life for yourself here and free yourself from a certain way of thinking. And the hard thing about the Eight of Swords is that no one can do this for you. No one can do this for you. And oftentimes when we come out of the Eight of Swords, we have to break through a pattern of thought. And oftentimes the pattern of thought it entangles us with other people, entangles us with other communities or within the community. And as we separate, we step out from the Eight of Swords, we have to step through patterns of thought which are entangled with people, which we, we create conflict with people and fear um, of consequences of loss. Um, so the Eight of Swords here, is there is guidance here to break forward, to move forward out of some sort of imprisonment here and step into some new way of acting or believing. Um, there is a fear here of being left out in the cold. There's a fear of financial consequences. There's a fear of being disconnected from a community or from a church uh, because this person is outside a church um, is outside a church, but the but this um, foundation here is rooted in um, something that is more materialistic than spiritual. It's something that is based in the three D, not the not the the um, divine energy. Oh man! 
Sometimes I wish I just had the vocabulary to express. I hope I'm doing okay, Virgo. Um, this is about trusting. This is about connecting to um, a source of energy that is something that you can't see um, or touch, but it's certainly something that you can feel. Um, it's something that some people can actually touch as well. Energy, sometimes it can be felt. Um, sometimes people can see it, but it is not by the mainstream of, of humanity something that is um, perhaps talked about. It is a higher energy, and there is a fear here of, of losing something, losing money, losing friends, losing a community, um, losing the, the, um, the reality of perhaps um, the fear of not having another significant person. Um, whatever this is, there's something that's keeping you trapped here. The guidance is to step out of that. However you connect in with that, to step out of that, to step into the fear of this loss, um, because there's a beautiful new future here to, to begin to manifest, um, to begin to work on. Um, and it's going to take everything of yourself. It's going to take your spiritual beliefs. It's going to take implementation in the real world, actual actions that you step into. It's going to take um, passion. It's going to take the fire within you, the flame within you to help move you forward. And it's going to take clarity of who you are as a person and who you connect to and the value of self. Um, it is clarity about your path ahead. So there is um, a necessity here to um, move through this imprisonment that you've been feeling, step out into something new here, take new action, believe new um, perceptions, um, open the mind to different ways of thinking here, step into this lack, this fear. Um, we do have stability. So you've had some major change in the past. You've reached a level of stability here. And when you reach a level of stability, Virgo, it's very hard to step into, into, um, into fear. It's, it's hard. You've been through something traumatic. You've been through something very, um, chaotic and you've reached now a, a level of stability in this experience. And there is guidance here to continue moving forward, to can continue to progress ahead. Um, because there's a beautiful new future for here, for you ahead. Um, as you work through this again, we're looking at only a couple of weeks of time. And so, um, we have to take these energies into consideration that these may not be huge, huge dramatic moments because we're only looking at um, a, like a month here. Um, but there is a, nece a, ne a, a necessity here to, um, to, to pull out or to pull up out of this thought, these thought forms or the cycling of thinking, um, negativity perhaps, or, um, some truth that isn't a truth that you were led to believe is a truth to open up the mind and step forward into a new journey here. That's ahead for you. Step into this fear um, that you could lose something. You could lose people. You could lose family. You could lose friends. You could lose money. There's something here. Um, every hero, every, every person who moves into a new journey must step into, must step willingly into the energy of sacrifice. To be honest with you, it is an energy of sacrifice. What will you pay? What will you pay to have a new life, to live in a different way? What is it worth to you? Um, there is some sort of, and, and I'm not saying you will have to, but there is um, a need here to step into that fear. Um, most of the time for me, I mean, in my life, as I've learned to, um, go through many different periods of learning um, this fear that I've had of losing money or losing people or losing a community. Um, this fear has always, the fear has always been greater than the result. The fear has always been more powerful than actually the fact of what happens. Um, so our imaginations, while our imaginations sometimes have a hard time creating abundance, creating a beautiful, miraculous future, our imaginations certainly can have quite a heyday with imagining trauma, with imagining um, consequences that are negative. Again, it probably connects in with this Eight of Swords energy. My beautiful friends, there is a beautiful, powerful new future here for you. Um, and there is encouragement here to, to uh, move into um, 
a more positive way of thinking, a more optimistic, um, move forward in, a, in, a, in an optimistic view um, because there is something here that you have been led to believe about yourself or about um, your situation that is not entirely true. Um, there's something here that is that is not true that you're believing about yourself. You're believing something about yourself that is um, you are much more powerful. You're much more beautiful. You're much more um, priceless and precious than you have been led to believe. And there is a, a new way of thinking, a new way of considering um, as you step into fear and begin to build life again for yourselves here um, or re rebuild yourself here. Um, remember your spiritual team. Remember the energy, the, the angels, the, the beings, um, the guidance, the, 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 um, the connection you have with the, with the divine. Remember that those energies walk with you and are with you in these moments, um, Virgo. Okay. Whew. That was a deep one. Um, what time is it? My computer, my clock is blocked here. Let me look. 36 minutes. Oh my gosh. See, I lose all track of time. I'm sorry, Virgo. I went a little long, but um, we're going to say that it was meant to be. Um, I am going to dig deeper now. I'll let you know. I'm going to dig deeper into the fool energy. I'm going to dig deeper into the five of pentacles. I want to know what this fear is or what this issue is with the five of pentacles. You could be in some sort of financial difficulty here that makes the eight of swords really difficult to move out of. So I'll dig into the five of pentacles just a little bit deeper. Um, that's in the guidance. So um, let me see here. This is in the future. So this is the guidance. This is the future here. I'm going to look into the ace of wands. I think the tower has been in the past. I think I want to look to see what the King of Swords has to say. What does the King of Swords have to say? And then um, let me see if there's anything else. This, these energies go together here. I'm going to look and see if we can get more about this choice, this new um action choice that's coming in for you. Um, this is your current energy. This is a free future energy here. Um, when I'm done looking into these energies, I'm going to take a break, Virgo, and come back. And when I'm done looking, digging deeper into these energies, I will look at the people who are around you and their intentions, and I'll dig deeper into that. All right, Virgo, thank you very much for your patience. Um, this reading ran a little long, but um, I couldn't see my clock and I get lost. I get lost in these readings. So we're just going to have to accept that that is what was meant to be. And um, I wish you all a very beautiful last couple of weeks. Um, well, it is the 24th. So the last week here of, of the last week of the last um, month of the last year of the decade uh, I, I hope that you um, find solace and sanctuary and um, meaning um, in the last week of the last month of the last year of the decade, uh, my beautiful friends. Thank you very much.